What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. I appreciate y'all for checking with me, man. Hope y'all having a nice day out there, man. I'm telling you, if you missed the last episode last night, it was a movie. It was electric. The energy was on 15. So, uh, tonight, man, uh, today, pardon me, uh, I really want to talk about LaMelo Ball um, and Terry Rozier. I kind of want to put those two kind of together for one second. I want to speak today why I feel like Terry Rozier might be the vocal and emotional leader of the Charlotte Hornets today. That's what I want to talk about right now. Uh, and also, I want to tell you that it's not a problem. That's not an issue. It's really not uh, because we'll get into all of that. But before we do all that, I need everybody to hit the like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. I hope everybody having a good, a good goddamn day. Everybody chilling. I hope everybody getting money. You understand? Um, it, it, it's crazy. Um, everybody go check it out today. We should have a nice show for you tonight. Uh, we got a special guest coming through tonight. I ain't gonna. I don't want to say nothing. No names. Just be on the lookout. I'm gonna surprise the people. Be on the lookout uh, for all the, all the Flight Sports TV exclusives we got coming and that's already out. Y'all go pay homage. You know, uh, shout out to everybody. And follow us on the gram. Uh, everybody definitely support us on the gram. We got a lot of shit coming. You might want to get to the gram. It's, it's, it's crazy. That's where you kind of get to see some of the highlights and some of the shit, the things that was done. You know, um, you know how it go. It's Flight Sports. Let's get into it one second. Uh, let's get to the top and let's get to work. Terry Rozier, right? He averaged 20 points per game. LaMelo averaged 15 as a rookie. Uh, in, in my projection, I feel like LaMelo Ball and another, I mean, it could be this year, but definitely next. I definitely see LaMelo going into that role. I've, I've, if you compare LaMelo to Lonzo Ball, what I will say is this. LaMelo seems to be a little bit more vocal than Lonzo, especially at a younger age. It seemed like LaMelo, um, especially like this season, well, well, like even in the offseason, he's very like active, very vocal. He talks. Lonzo Ball in the, in the early stages of his career, he obviously Lonzo talks a little bit more now than he did when he first came came out. But LaMelo Ball, he's a, he's a talker right now. He's vocal. He's in the mix. You understand? So we got to give LaMelo Ball a lot of credit. And I also think that harkens back to his days of playing overseas and the various leagues. And like I said, LaMelo Ball really got it up, got it out the mud for real, man, because they, a lot of roadblocks was put before LaMelo. You know, obviously it was a situation where he got taken out of the high school because, you know, the coach, there was a lot of politics at the time. Uh, he goes, gets his own sneaker company. He ends up, you know, just pretty much, it's just retarded. He got his own sneakers, literally, and I think that's what screwed him. Uh, I don't think that's what screwed him, but they pretty much tried to hold him out from uh, the NCAA. Wouldn't let him go to official college. I, it was a true disgrace, you know, uh, what they did to LaMelo. I, and the NCAA um, and people, fans of college basketball and collegiate athletes, Y'all were clearly highway robbed uh, of, of LaMelo Ball not gracing that stage. Could you imagine LaMelo Ball in the Final Four, you know, the NCAA tournament, March Madness? We, we were clearly robbed as basketball fans, you know, um, and that sucks because a lot of times uh, we get robbed, you know. But I want to tell you, there's it's no, it's no problem with LaMelo Ball not being a vocal leader right now. That doesn't mean that he's not the pound-for-pound pound best basketball player on this team, which I feel like he is. You understand? I feel like LaMelo has the most talent, he has the most upside, and the most potential to do big things in this league, right? I want to take you back to another player, the original Melo, what these guys say, you know? I, I don't want nobody ever to forget about this. Carmelo Anthony, the great legend, three Olympic gold medals. He on the Lakers. Let him get this chip. It's going to be all she wrote. What I want to tell you is... Carmelo Anthony, back in his prime, I'm talking about even dating back to Denver, dating also back to the early days in New York. 
Carmelo Anthony wasn't the vocal and emotional leader of basketball teams, even though he was the pound-for-pound pound best basketball player. He wasn't always the guy who could deliver the best message to, to galvanize the troops. You understand? He wasn't, he wasn't always the guy to gather everybody. And, you know, but Carmelo Anthony led by example most of the time. You understand? So it's almost like you had to follow. I don't know if Melo was the type of guy to show you, like, like something like a LeBron James. LeBron James is the type of guy to kind of show you and kind of like almost pacify you around a little bit, you know, uh, especially in the early days of LeBron James' career. Carmelo Anthony, he's just a do-it-all, get-it-done type of player, and uh, he, that's how he's going to leave, by, you know, by annihilating on the basketball court. You're going to know that this dude is just, okay, he's here to destroy all comers. You understand? But look at, look, like state, I stated, Terry Rozier being the vocal leader. You see him galvanizing the troops, gathering everybody up for a workout. That's leadership, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I seen that last season uh, pass where it was low altercation. Terry Rozier is all in the mix. You understand? Terry Rozier makes sure he protect all the young guys. Anybody try, somebody tried to step over, I think, uh, P.J. Washington. He ran up on them and pushed their ass. You know, uh, ain't, ain't nobody going for that. You ain't going to just walk all over him or, or any of his teammates. So, uh, you know, Terry Rozier always stood up, and I noticed that. And I always stated that. Go back to the previous the previous work. I stated that, of Terry Rozier being the leader. But let's get back to the original Carmelo Anthony, the great legend, the Hall of Famer. Uh, God willing, for champion in a few months. I want to I wanna tell you, Chauncey Billups in Denver was the emotional leader. You understand? When uh, when he went back to, uh, when he came to New York, uh, and the Knicks was the second seed in the East, uh, they won the Atlantic Division. This is when division, when people won the division in the NBA, and that actually meant something. The NBA need to get back to divisional shit, you know, uh, where divisions mean something. You know, what they, they, it seemed like they done got through away all that. Uh, so the Knicks was was great, you know, and they, they was prime to go to the conference finals, but they lost obviously in the second round to Indiana. I, I mean, damn! I, after that, after that game, that game six, man, I'm telling you, my stomach was screwed for I, the whole goddamn day, man. I'm telling you, I damn near was ready to throw up, man. Uh, I don't want to go back to memories, but that's not what. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's not a problem. So it's many superstars who are not, who don't talk. You understand? That doesn't necessarily make to make them not a leader. Uh, you know, I think Lamelo Ball is a leader. I think right now at his young age, he's leading vocally, and I think um, he's the leader vocally. But also, he's deferring to Terry Rozier because Terry Rozier, he done been through it. He been through the wars. He been to the playoffs. He been to the conference finals against LeBron. He played for the Boston Celtics. Terry Rozier been in pressurized situations. Playing for the Celtics, you know, um, you gonna be in some tough games. You know, the man down there went toe-to-toe went, went -to, -toe to Kyrie Irving, ladies and gentlemen. Terry Rozier is no slouch, and he ain't for nothing, and you ain't just, you understand? So, he's perfect for Charlotte, especially when you look at all of these young guys on this team. When you're talking about LaMelo, obviously, we all know him, but you got uh, Miles Bridges, young guy. You got PJ, young guy. Kai Jones, young guy. Book, now, all these are young boys, you understand? So... It's paramount for a guy like uh, my man Terry. I like that they paid him. I believe Terry Rozier, I said in the beginning Terry got overpaid, but I don't think he necessarily got overpaid because I think that what he's doing is, this is good for LaMelo Ball to be around Terry Rozier at this young age. He can, learn, he can learn a lot of game. He can soak up a lot of tutelage from this guy. And like I said, and apply it when it's his turn. You know because Melo, LaMelo is gonna have his opportunity. You know, even last season, he it was like a three guard rotation. People don't know what the hell is going on. Da, 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 da. You know, I was I was on record that one of these guys was gonna get traded. I just thought it was gonna happen last season. I was shocked that they went the whole year, you know, kind of with that damn shuffle going on. But it wasn't as bad as Lonzo Ball's situation. But nonetheless, Terry Rozier, like I said, I'm a I'm a, I'm a hold I'm a hold hold on to my statements. He's the emotional and vocal leader of the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball is the best player, pound for pound. Let me know y'all thoughts. Am I wrong? You know, because Terry Rozier has proven it, you know, and I think he's also going to deliver on the court. You know, Terry Rozier is going to be a guy they can lean on, they can rely on when the going gets tough, you know. So we got to definitely pay homage to Terry Rozier because he don't get enough credit at all. Scary Terry, I think, is coming back this season. 
Look out for the Charlotte Hornets. I'm predicting them to be the most surprised team in the East. Because people still sleeping on the Hornets. Because the East is stacked. We all know this. But I think the Hornets got what it takes. You know, Borrego, Lamelo. it seems like that connection is real tight. So it's going to be interesting to see. It's Flight Sports TV, man. The hottest shit in the streets. I appreciate y'all for checking with me, man. You know we working. Uh, hope everybody having a good day, man. God bless. Peace and love. Support the channel. Hit the like button. If you knew, you done came to the right place, man. Hit that goddamn subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV, man. Pay homage. Shout out to everybody. We out of here. Flight Sports.